Hello. So, how's it going out there? Um, today we're gonna cover um a thing that will hopefully be helpful for all of you. Uh, just um mob amounts, like trying to figure out what causes slowdown when you get like sheer high numbers of um of enemies running around. And I set up a little test. Um, this may or may not be useful for everybody. Um. But we'll see. Hopefully it is. <laughs> I set up a little test that has a few different types of enemies. The first kind is run by standard um, uh, standard uh, doo -doo 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 pathfinding and just uh, uses a nav mesh. They go find their target and it's as simplistic as it gets. Their behavior tree only has go to the actor. That's it. And then the other kind uses this little... Um, physics character and adds impulses on tick to get itself um a little ball basically uh this guy the sphere rolling along and that's what drives a character um and the character just is a thing underneath that totally doesn't matter um and then the fourth one is a pathfinder with just a sphere or the third one and the fourth one is a physics um, enemy that's just a sphere. So there was some interesting results that will hopefully be useful. So I'll try to make this quick. So first up, um, there is, let's actually play in new window so that I can maximize this. So, okay, so we got the frames counts and all that frame unit up in the corner and I can run around. So I'm gonna spawn in up to, these are the Pathfinder guys. These guys work off of normal nav meshes, just a really simplistic AI. So I'll get up around 500 and you start to see, see they're all just trickling in, doing what they're supposed to. Um, I have them spawn randomly around the map. Um, anywho, uh, so yeah, they all trickle in. They're all still kind of trying See, only this one right here is happy because he's the only one, or the rest are mostly happy. Um, he's fully happy because he's come to rest. But the rest are all still trying to push in, but they're using the nav mesh to pathfind their way to me, really simplistically. But if you look, the frames per second up here in the top right, um, we're at 14 frames per second, give or take. And uh, the draw call is next to nothing because there's no real graphics, but everything else is running. The game itself is taking about 65 milliseconds to, to tick over. Um, and so now, oopsie, if I escape out of this and I hit play again, it will maximize. Now I'm going to bring in the physics animated guys. And whoop, I have to click in the game at least. There, here we go. So these guys are just spheres behind the scenes. That's the only thing they are. Uh, they rotate and animate in. Or their, their, their skeletons are driven around. Oh, yeah, I'm going to get pushed around by these guys. But let's see. 300 in the top left, if you look, I can see my count that's coming in. 463. So we'll say about there. Close enough to 500. So these guys, yeah, there's some stuck around the corner over there um, doing their thing. These guys, um, again, are just little physics spheres running around, um, colliding into each other. Um, which is kind of why they're just rolling and bouncing, but it's really cool the way they behave. They, <laughs> it's a circle mosh pit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, anywho, uh, yeah, you can see over in the top right corner because their physics, it takes a teensy bit more, but not much. So we're right down at 10 frames a second and the game's taking, okay. So it's quite a bit more um, the game's taking 96 milliseconds to roll over per tick. I think that's what that stands for. Anyways, um, that's the logic of it. All those physics actors bouncing around behind the scenes. Because once again, um, behind the scenes, they are this physics ball down here. And they're just getting pushed with um, little forces to drive them towards me. Now, here's where some surprising results came in. Um, for me, at least. Is when I strip them down to just being a sphere. So I'll start with the path guided ones. So let's see, da, 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 there we are. And then these guys are just spheres, that's it. But they're all still using a nav mesh and trying to path their way to me. So I can get all the way up to like, we'll get up to a thousand. So you see they're all coming in and they're all pathing towards me. And these guys around the corners are, you know, uh, as nav mesh uh, move to actors do they they try to find their best path if they get stuck on each other they kind of get 
and they wait in a line while they kind of bunch up on each other. But they all move in, and then they all come to rest nicely, um, as close as they can get to me. You know, they're just, oh, there I am. Um, and on this, we're all the way up at twice the amount of enemies. But, like, we're at 1,072 little AIs running around. And we're at 20, whoa, 24, 25 frames a second. And the game is only taking about 40 milliseconds to, to take over. Um, so, yeah, that's that's double the double the amount of enemies and better the frame rate. So um, the other one was just uh, physics guys. So I'll show you that next. Um, and this one is just the same as the, the enemies that we had that were running off of physics, but they're just spheres. So we got, uh, let's see, do, 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 and I'll start spawning them in. And we're at two, let's see, 600 or 800. Uh, almost 900 and they're just over a thousand so here they all come they get a little cray cray with it oh yeah I got, if you get on top of them it's kind of hard to get back down um, but if I was on the bottom they would begin to start swirling around underneath me if I wasn't moving around so much but these are all oh now some are falling off the edge of the world so anywho um, let's spawn in some more so we're up at just over a thousand these guys are all trying to get to where I am. Um, sadly, now they're all mushing into this corner, but they're all on screen and they're all trying to get where I am. And again, we're at um, you know 27, 28 frames a second, and the game is only taking uh, 30 to 40 milliseconds to roll over. So what this tells me, I think at least, is that mo most of the computation time comes in from the animation um, when you're trying to do like a huge amount of enemies um, so I think a lot of it has to do with the, again the the animation those those whole humans have arms and legs and they run and they the the anim blueprint reacts accordingly to their movement um, so um, I'm going through all my enemies right now and one by one adding in a little tiny snippet of their actions and trying to uh, dumb down the animation to keep it like super super simple because we were hitting a frame rate issue with how many enemies we had on screen at once and if we can if we can get a bigger number you know awesome more fun so this little test was just to hopefully help you all see that um some clues into what you know what it is that uh, slows things down when you start to have just bonkers amount of enemies on screen um, yeah so uh, hopefully that helps again you know uh, just to give you a little behind the scenes oh yeah so that's the results if you want to see behind the scenes uh, of how the enemies work um, if you care uh, I'll show you that now um, if not Come back on Friday when we have another video up. Um, yeah. So the uh, the little simple AI guys, these guys, chaser pawns. Um, yeah. So they are. Do do do. They got nothing in their blueprints because all they are is this physics guy who's apparently decided to start jumping now for some reason. Um, anywho, it's got a direction, so I can tell what direction he's supposed to be going in, and his mesh component has a, uh, anim blueprint on it, and it is running off of, oh, right, up here, under the character type, or it's a character pawn with character movement, and if I go to AI, it's being possessed by this, um, AI controller, and this AI controller, all it's doing is, uh, getting where the player is um or the player actor um this part's unnecessary but it's or it's getting the player actor and setting it to a value on its blackboard this blackboard uh this location to run to isn't important but this actor to run to is and so it's holding at, during this initial setup uh it's getting the player my character the little red one set into a value in its blackboard and then it runs its behavior tree and its behavior tree all it does is say it's got a sequence so it can start going and move to that player and that's all it does 
and then the Atom Blueprints, um, you know, has all the rest of it for the run cycle, and it's all being driven to who to do to do. Let's see if we can get to it real quick. Uh, no, not AI there. Uh, the Atom Blueprints, mostly, wholly, entirely being running, but running, running by it's getting the velocity of it and adding the or the vector length of the velocity equals the speed. And the speed is applied to this 2D blend shape right here. Um, so it goes from walk to run. And then the rotation um, is set somewhere else. Um, but anyways, that's the basics of that character. Um, that's the AI character, really simplistic AI character. Um, the other one is exactly the same. The only difference is that instead of that skeleton mesh, it just has a sphere, and that's it. Um, then there is the physics runner, which um, he has this guy in him that uses the same, or not the same, but a, a, a physics-driven animation. So it's uh, getting the velocity vector length and setting it to speed. Um, actually, that's exactly what the other one did. So, yeah, same thing. Um, how fast it's moving is how fast it's running. I'm um, using a 2D animation thing. Uh, so now, back to the actual... Oh, wait, that's the animation. I want the actual pawn. So the pawn, then on its blueprints, on its event graph, we have a radial force built into this little sphere here. This little sphere here has um, simulate physics turned on, but it can't rotate. It's got its rotation locked. And then it's got a radial force in here, and we use that radial force right here. Um, we say the target is the sphere. Uh, whoop -a -doop -a -doo. Oh, adds force to this sphere. Oh, I guess we don't even use the radial force, so it doesn't matter. Meh. <laughs> so we're just grabbing the actor, getting its location, doing a little bit of math, a vector math, to add a force to the sphere. So this radial force could probably not even be in there. Um, and then we're getting the vector length, and when, as as the, the that physics ball rotates around, um, once it hits a breaking point, we're rotating the character here. So once it gets more than 10 degrees farther from where it is, we set the world rotation to what the vector rotation is. And so again, um, and I'm pretty sure we can delete that off the end. Um, but again, very simplistic little stuff. And the ball is the same. Uh, just it has just a ball instead of the uh, little dude. So yeah, that is what's uh, getting us these massive numbers. What happens when I mix E1 of each? Eh. So we get 100 of one. Of the, of the Pathfinders, 100 of the Physics guys, 100 of the Pathfinding Balls, and 100 of the Physics Balls. And then you have Chaos! Bah! Um, <laughs> so, anywho, um, that was just all set up for testing, like, how can we get more enemies on screen at once without killing the system? Um, so, yeah, hopefully the information earlier on helped. Um, I'm mostly going to be trying to key back my animation stuff. So that way I can hopefully get up to, you know, uh, what is it? The, the, these kind of these kind of numbers, you know, 7,800, 1,000. You know, that's still, that's too many because we're in VR and you have to maintain the 90 frames a second. But anyways, that's what I'm working on right now. And uh, hopefully that was all helpful to all of you as far as like being able to bring in just tons and tons of enemies. And uh, yeah, I will catch you all by Friday, I think. And yeah, thanks again for following. Um, yeah, feel free to follow along. We'll be keeping posted as the game develops along. And yeah, hope you all had a good Monday, Tuesday. And uh, yeah, we'll talk to you on Friday. All right. <laughs>